Hello there and good afternoon. I'm Eleanor Grace and I'm coming to you from my website, Psychic Destiny. It's gracedestiny.com. And how are you then today? We're starting off the week with some free psychic readings here today. I'm using my crystal ball and we're here on A1R Moonstruck. And I hope that you can join us and share in some psychic guidance. Have you got your psychic reading yet? We've got some of the best psychics, mediums, clairvoyants and intuitives here on A1R Moonstruck Radio as well. And you can join us and watch the videos, watch us live and dial connect straight through for some free readings and that's what I'm going to do today. Now can you see here the crystal that I have? This one is an amethyst crystal ball. It's what I use an awful lot of the time during my readings and a natural psychic, clairvoyant and medium. I'm here in London in the UK and I also host TV shows here um, for the rest of Europe and also in the UK itself. And I've been actually on TV today. So I just want to say thank you to all of my viewers and also to you guys as well uh, for joining me this afternoon <clears throat> and making this a very special show. We're coming up to a bank holiday here in the UK. I'm sure where you are, you're enjoying a lot more sunshine than we are here because we all Always talk about the weather in England. We can't help it because it's uh, it rains a lot here, and we need umbrellas and things like that. So wherever you are in the US of A and also Amer um, Australia, I don't think you need quite as much of the umbrella regime as us. So let's get going, shall we? Here's a crystal. I'm going to use this to connect through to your psychic energy. I like to see the stars that sparkle in the crystal ball, <clears throat> excuse me, during the readings that I'll be doing here this evening. I also use cards and I will be selecting some very uh, specific cards as well. Some of the energy cards that I have here really represent some of the connections that we're, we're making when we do a reading. So this perhaps is what you need to look out for. And I'll be calling a few of those because we've got some energy cards like the dragonfly, like the butterfly. They are transformational energies that move us through passages of time that perhaps we need to cross and they can be difficult at times and we all have them. So let's see exactly what sort of transformation there is here today in your life. Now, as well as the amethyst crystal ball, I'm also going to be using tarot cards and tarot cards um, are really useful for timings and events and circumstances that maybe are going to cross your path and that's what we like to tell you about. These are my tarot here and these are Victorian ones um, from Queen Victoria's time here in England. They don't actually date back to then but some of the images are quite old-fashioned and comforting so we like to use some of these cards as well and that's in order for you to be able to see how we can demonstrate some of the influences that are going to happen in your life what we're predicting in terms of the pathway with natural clairvoyance and how we can also connect through to spirit and that is just one of those fascinating areas where spirit come through, those loved ones who have passed over do come through to show us a little bit more of a pathway, give us some guidance and perhaps let us know just that they're with us and they're there and we can feel them, we can sense their spirit around us and that's very comforting at these times as well. So the cards will be used just to give a little bit of direction. The crystal ball just brings in that sparkly bit of energy and the directional cards, my animal cards, just show as well the sort of spirit that is around you here today. So let's have a look then at who is coming through uh, for 
a free reading with me and let's see who is there. Okay. Well, we've got Wanda in Northampton, Massachusetts, who is ready for a reading. Hello, Wanda. Hello there. Hello. Are you ready? Hi. Are you I'm ready for your being reading? Ready. I'm being ready. I'm ready. Yes. I think I think you were born ready, weren't you? You were, Wanda. That's what I'm I'm getting here from you. You're sort of really up for a very, very good and buoyant period now in your life. The energy that I'm connecting through to you before I touch a card, before I touch my crystal ball, is one of great possibilities and excitement. And you will be feeling as though everything is just about to take place. It's just about to happen. You've been waiting quite a long time, I think, as well, to feel a sense of release and to feel <clears throat> that the past is truly behind you. And now I'm looking at open fields. I'm looking at green spaces. It's all about new beginnings and rebirth and you, Wanda, deciding how you're going to live the rest of your life. So this is quite a turning point for you. Do you understand that, do you, Wanda? Wonder. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, <laughs> yes, I do. Great. Okay. Uh, we've got a good connection then. Immediately, I think your soul is brilliant. You're a very wise lady. Um, you've come into this world, I feel, knowing a lot, maybe too much sometimes. And that could have held you back here, Wonder, in the past. But now it's you leaping forward. So, <clears throat> Let me just cut some cards here because I feel that this will just give us a little bit more of that information that's around you. Yep, you've got pentacles here. So this is very much about money and prosperity that you can see now coming forward in your life. So uh, money and prosperity are very important. And I, th I think that you're going to reach out and get that. Um, even though you don't quite believe it yourself, I think it's totally possible for you to just, you know, put your hand out a little bit and just bring in those coins. That's what's going to happen. But you're also being okay. given money as well. So money is coming to you as a gift. It could be a legacy uh, because I feel legacies are going to play quite an important role, quite an important part in your life, in your future pathway. Because as I'm seeing that pathway, as I'm connecting to you, I can see just little pots of gold along it. So money and prosperity are important, but you're prepared to work for it. You know, you're not going to shy away from doing anything to make gains for yourself. And here you've got a lovely card. This is all about some opportunities here around your man. And I think that you need to perhaps revisit some of those areas of trust as well. Have you found that in the recent past, Wanda, that whoever it is that you're associated to, you've, you've found it quite difficult to trust what they're saying or what they're doing? Does that ring true to you? Yes, yes. I got, uh, I got, I got a lot of people. I got a lot of people. Um, good people around me. Yeah, oh yeah, right. oh, yeah, nice. yeah. This is just one person though that I feel is betrayed you. Um, you're going to find out about it anyway quite soon. I don't think it's massive. You know, we're not talking about a big deal, but it's just nipping away at some of your. Um, areas of confidence where you want to you know share your own confidences with the group that's around you and this one man in particular so just be a little bit careful um in the coming weeks and months about what you say don't reveal yeah. everything to everybody um and then you know that you can test a few a few things out um it's no big deal you have got an apology coming to you though and i find that's quite interesting really um because this is a card of renewal repairing damage maybe that has happened already so if somebody says something out of turn somebody has you know sort of made the move this is you um feeling upset but again you've got this one person this one well, my, who is, my, i got a question i got something um yeah. 
My yeah. ex partner for, for nine years. We were together for nine years. Uh, yeah. Chisuchi is another woman. We were together for nine years. She left me uh, four months ago. Okay. Uh, it could be her. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a partner, definitely. Somebody who you have trusted. Um, I feel that we're talking about the same situation, really. You know, a person that's betrayed you, somebody that you felt that you could put everything into, really. And this is the card that sort of shows to me and to you as well um, that it is time to accept a bit more of of that olive branch to understand why this has happened. And I think you're going to get an opportunity. Here she is as well. Um, and this is somebody who perhaps has got just a little bit too much pride and doesn't quite know how to climb down off that very high perch that she's put herself on. And you will understand that, but you okay. know, I know you do. Um, but this is now a time that you can just sort of forget about some of those conversations that have happened and you can put them behind you really and you can just sort of say well it's okay you know what I'm just drawing a line I'm not going to be uh, bothered by some of those unimportant matters um, but I do want to understand why you behaved in the way that you did and that's your answer that's what you're getting because you're getting judgment here and this is a decision that is coming for you it's a conclusion that you are making and I think it's a good one but you are moving on definitely mm -hmm. this is a this is a party that you're going to now it's not a specific party on a day or a time it's your life this is the rest here of your life and it's a party it's a ball so you will not under any circumstances be feeling as though this was a waste you know you're just going to draw a line here Wanda and you're going to say to yourself all right I understand all of the bits and bobs about that I've cried about it I've you know been feeling downhearted about it it's given me a low mood but do you know what? I'm quite resolute and I am going to make something of my life for myself. This is what's helping you. It's the ace. You've got the fairy. It's lovely. It's the ace of swords. It's a part of your destiny. And this is something that you won't miss. And it's a new partner. And you will not miss who this person is. You just won't. It's there. And you will make a decision. Justice is in your corner, uh, so you will have all of the opportunities that you would ever need to be able to reflect and say your bit or just say lavi and that's it. It's one of those things that happens. I don't see you struggling with this. I think that time has gone. Let's have a look now at your quartz crystal. This is lovely because it, it brings in those really strong healing elements and gives you rainbows as well. I've already said okay. to you that prosperity is part of your journey and what you must now focus on. Rather than thinking about emotions, what you may have lost, I, this crystal ball here is saying, think about what you may gain, thinking about the gains that are coming through in your life because they're powerful um, and it is about you accumulating these pots of gold. So I think that you will benefit from legacies later on, but in the shorter term, in the coming years, the next two or three years, um, there's an opportunity for you to really make yourself quite wealthy. I think you will be working hard, maybe in deciding upon a business um, and thinking about some, well, it's creative thinking. So you're thinking on your feet, but this is about how you will make things much more buoyant for yourself and prosperous. So you have prosperity here in the crystal. There are two ladies that are in spirit around you. These will be family members. They're looking down from on high. So they have passed over for a long time. They've been, um, in their particular place for many, many years. So they're likely to be grandmothers or even aunties, but there's two ladies together. Do you have two aunties who are in spirit? Can I ask you that, Wanda? 
Yes. You do? Okay. Um, well, they're here. They're with you. And their energy sort of wraps their arms around you as well. So lots of benefit is being given to you. Hugs and kisses are here. And that's what I see in the crystal. Making you feel warm, positive, and starting again. Oh, I hear I hear everything is good news for me. Like, thank you for every everything that you're telling me. It sounds right. Everything that you're telling me sounds really uh, good. Um, oh, that's good. I'm just a little worried about the connection and, and what will happen with this person that I spent nine years of my life. You're telling me that uh, a person yeah. is going to come back. So... I would like to know if this person, yeah. I don't know if, if if you're available to tell me if this person is going to still in my life or I'm just going to have to move on and let it go. No, you will move on. You will, you will move on, Wanda. You'll move on. You will let her go. Um, but you'll understand why. And I think that you've had the best of wonder of, of that relationship you've had absolutely the best and you can't get any any more from it i've looked here into your crystal and um, i feel as though it's not so much a big goodbye but it is a time to restart you know to renew everything that you want and everything that you believe in and that's very important I know that emotionally you're still connected and of course you are. It was a long time and therefore it will take a while to renew yourself. But that's what I see. I see a new person, a new partner here for you. It's part of your destiny. That was your ace here, your ace of swords. And that's what's going to make a difference um, in your life. And that's going to bring some happiness to you, a lot more than you have had. And remember, do you know what? It's uh, not that hard to be happy. It shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. It should not be hard to be happy. And I think that it was the last couple of years, I think you were put through an awful lot of stress and strain that wasn't fair. I don't feel that there was a fair situation for you, Wanda. So I'm going to wish you all the best wishes in the world for the future. Best of luck on your pathway. You I don't so think you'll need much of it. Um, but, you know, thank you for your questions too. Okay, so um, thank you there to Wanda. And I'm now with Victoria in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Hello there, Victoria. Hi. And how are you? Are you there? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, hi, yeah. I'm good, thank you. Hello? Hello, hi. I've got you, Victoria. Hello, how are you here today? Are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm okay, thank you. Oh, okay. It's nice to speak to you. I'm Eleanor Grace. I'm in London. You're in Belfast. So uh, it's, it's in the evening where you are, isn't it? Same as me, seven o'clock of thereabouts in the evening. So uh, let's have a look yes. at you then, Victoria. Okay, great. Is there anything in particular that you would like me to focus on for you here tonight? Me? Um, I don't know whether you did or not. It's it, uh, pregnancy. Ah, okay. All right. Well, um, is this what you want to know about? Have you lost a child? Is that what's happened? Because I feel as though there's been a sense of loss around you and then a replacement. So something is going on here that um, you I didn't, have been I didn't, very... I didn't lose a child as in loss of a child. I lost five children to the system. Okay. All right. Okay. There's a, there's a big sense of loss that I had. So that, but it wouldn't have been a miscarriage or anything like that. So it was the system no. working. Okay. All right. So into interfering as well and you know making uh decisions that perhaps you were not going to be in agreement with here victoria so um okay so let's just have a look i'll take a couple of cards are you there for me victoria yeah yeah okay 
five of wands here. That's the first card that I've I've drawn here, Victoria, and that will represent your five children. That's the loss of your five children, that they're not with you. They're not surrounding you. So that is your first indication of a good connection. That's what we want. We want that great connection. The moon, very unhappy about that, of course. And are you now trying to... Um, Think about how you can make amends because that's what I have here. It's sort of like a secret plan. You've got a partner here and I feel that the five children are all together. They do seem to be together and that, that you will be repatriated with them in the future, um, even though that seems to be a struggle. OK, there's a struggle around it. Um, now, in the next three months, that's within, where are we now? May, June, July, August, the next three months, that's when you're hoping um, to really change your life. I have a dramatic change, dramatic turnaround for you. You are being guided here in the right way, I might add. And that guidance is taking you into the arms of a, a very powerful man. He is here and he does seem to be, like come around again. So you've known this person before, you've known who he is before. So it's like reconnecting with a very important person in your life. There's a baby here as well. Um, October is going to be a time of benefit here. You won't have a baby in October, but you could certainly fall pregnant here um, in October. There's a baby that I can see. And we're talking about children a lot here in your life and what has happened to you with regard to uh, those babies um, and the children in the past. So something is here that is bringing in a great deal of um, sentiment and also lots of possibilities. Who is Margaret? I do have a Margaret in spirit. I want to know if she's with you here, um, Victoria, or if that is somebody who is just looking on. Do you have anybody who is, you recognise that name for me? Yeah, my mum. Ah, okay, that's your mum. My mum. Is yes. she in spirit? Is she passed over? Is she in yeah. spirit? Yeah, she passed away. Um, in okay. Four, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, Margaret is sort of looking after these children for you. Um, she's got them, you know, she's sort of pushing them over there. <laughs> and then you're here. There's a new baby for you. There's a baby in your arms that I can see. And October will be the time that you either get pregnant or you know that you're pregnant. It's not now. It's not today. There's a lot of the virus around. That's all got to go. Just leave it for a little while now and don't be too quick to sort of really move on. But Margaret, your mum, is holding out a dummy. Now, I don't know if you were the one that had a dummy. You like to suck on a dummy. Um, but she's holding that out to me, which represents to me um, the new baby, the new baby that is to come. And I feel that that's a girl as well. I feel you, you've got a very, very pretty little girl, beautiful face, I can see, um, like a little angel. And you're not going to... You're not going to have a situation again here, Victoria, where you will lose this child. You won't lose See, this I, child. I have a sick child, which is a daughter uh, who lives with me. Okay, okay. But that wouldn't be her, would it? No, no. This is a no. new a new baby, a new baby in your arms. Yeah. Um, and I, I feel that this new baby is there. Your your sick daughter, is a poorly daughter that is with you, I feel it is being taken care of as well by you, Victoria, and Margaret, um, your mum, who is pushing you and helping you. I can I can see her doing it. She comes to visit you a lot. She's in your home a lot. She sits I with you. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. It's like when you're having breakfast in particular, that seems to be a time that she really likes. Um, that cup of tea, 
isn't it? That cup of tea and some yeah. toast. Yeah, it's all those lovely breakfast times when you're really busy. Um, your daughter, though, that is with you at home now, she does seem to be um, up and down, doesn't she? There are bad times, there's some even times, there's some good times. But I feel that you're coming into a time now where there's somebody else that needs to see her, either a consultant or somebody else that um, you will you will see. Um, very good man who is going to give you some good advice. So there we are. I, I do feel, Victoria, that you need a bit of luck right now. So I'm going to wish really you. Need luck. I just hope that I my partner, um, marries me. <laughs> ah, well, <laughs> I'm going to wish you all of the luck in the world. So, um, your partner is he somebody that you really felt was just with you for a bit of a, I don't know, just a hopping in for a little ride along the road. I don't think you ever truly believed that he was going to stick around. Is that true? Well, he, 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 yeah, yeah, that, that, that is 100%, but he's stuck with me five years now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember, though, yeah. um, when somebody is there along for the ride, seems to be the right thing to do, there's always, always, always going to be a point where it crashes and you've got to make a decision. Now, you're a brave woman, Victoria, and you yeah. have Margaret, your mum with you. Remember, you can do anything you want in life and you're going to be given a lot of purpose and the freedom to do that as well. And that's where your bravery comes in. There's rewards later, but right now, just think about that future pathway um, and you're going to be fine and look forward to your baby. Yeah. Thank you for your call, Victoria. It's lovely to speak to you. And I'm just going to wish you every happiness in the world for the future. You need it. You deserve it as well. So yeah. remember, Thank remember you. to be positive. That's my pleasure. OK, well, there you are, guys. Um, I'm just going to finish up by saying thank you to Spirit for coming in, for Margaret to uh, be sharing some time with her daughter, Victoria. And also thank you for Wanda as well. Lovely readings here um, on this happy, happy Tuesday. So I'm going to wish you all the best in the world and I will see you next week. I've been Eleanor Grace. Bye-bye. Thanks for your company. See you soon.